This is the latest 20 watt diode laser to enter the laser market. It's made by a company called We Create, and I'm really excited to show you some of the features today because there are several features in this machine that you won't find in its competitors. So we're gonna talk about those. And there's one in particular that the, the laser CNC market has not seen and it is brand new and I'm excited to share that with you. So the company that makes this machine, we create claims that laser is finally easy. Now what they set out to do with this machine is make the entire process as easy as possible, but as functional as possible. Of all the different machines that I've operated over the years, I can honestly say that I found this setup, the workflow, the time it took to unbox to get making my first project very easy. There was no setup. It was just a matter of hooking up the cords in the back, hooking the power in, hooking the air assist in, and uh, hooking in the uh, USB cable that is hooked to my computer. Then the only other thing to do was to drop the slats in, in the bottom, and it was up and going. I downloaded their software, which is local to the computer, and it was simple as dragging and dropping my artwork in, selecting the material. I'll go over a little bit more here in depth uh, their software called We Create Make It. I'll go over that here in a second. But it was as simple as dragging and dropping and hitting go. And then the Auto Z uh, measured the material, zoomed in to where it needed to be, and I hit go. It honestly was a very easy workflow. So our engraving is going good. I would say it's about a third done. You can't see it yet though. It's gonna be a surprise at the end. Let's focus on the hardware of this machine and then I'll talk about the software. So let's start with the biggest hardware feature first and it is the auto lift up and down. Let's call this the auto Z lift up and down because it actually raises the head, the, the laser head and uh, up and down based on the thickness of your material. So everybody has come up with a different solution but the market has not seen this solution yet where it automatically raises and lowers based on the thickness of your material. I found this really cool and really handy so far. So the laser itself is a 20 watt diode laser. This seems to be right in the middle of the market and 20 watt is very common. You know, you're gonna be able to cut uh, three millimeter material, depending what it is, three, milli three millimeter basswood. Uh, you're gonna be able to engrave anything. It's fantastic for engraving, I would say, you know, if, you, if your work is mostly engraving, something like a 20 watt laser is gonna be a fantastic uh, power range for you. So they've put a good laser in here that'll operate well for this system. The next thing I wanna focus on with hardware is the, and this is going right now, vibrating my hand, uh, but this is the internal air assist. I've seen this on other machines, uh, and so it's, it's pretty common, but They've done a good job here of integrating it into the machine so it actually turns on when the machine turns on and uh, so you don't have to hit another switch or forget to turn the air assist on. It's all integrated in uh, to the machine. So having air assist is very important when you're cutting. Uh, it allows you to cut thicker materials faster and so it's great that they included an actual air assist with this machine. The next thing let's talk about is the camera and the lid right here. It's really big on the setup. Uh, when you're laying out your designs, it en enables you to line things up really well. So the fact that in this price point, which I'm gonna get to the price point here in a minute, um, that they put an actual camera in the lid that's integrated uh, and actually does a good job of aligning things up, I I'm pretty impressed. So that was a, a great feature again. Uh, and you can see in the software here, it kind of just, it takes a picture of everything so you can lay everything out and you're not constantly fiddling, fiddling with something, trying to get it lined up. Um, I've always found that aggravating with the open frame diode lasers where it's, you're kind of guessing uh, to align things. So that is a great feature to have. Next, let's talk about exhaust. One thing with lasers is you're actually burning material. So you need some place to put that exhaust to put those fumes out the door. So this laser comes with an integrated uh, exhaust fan. So it's actually sucking things out the back. And then just for these short few tests, um, I've got my garage door open, so I'm actually blowing it out the garage. But uh, I am going to be, when I get this final resting place for this laser, uh, I'm gonna be running the exhaust out the window and it comes with um, some hose to do that. So that's an important feature to have 
you can tell that uh, that we create has put an emphasis on safety. Because the other thing is, as you can see, this is tinted orange. That's not just for decorations or anything like that. That's for safety. So I don't have to have glasses on like I would with a typical 20 watt diode laser that has an open frame, comes with the glasses. Here, it's all enclosed. It's plastic, but it's a tinted plastic. So that's nice. So believe it or not, this machine comes with a rotary. Now, this is a rotary attachment that I, I haven't set up yet. I haven't tested it, um, but you don't, it just plugs into the back. There's a, a plug in in the back and it comes with the cable to easily switch back and forth. And then I'll talk about it in the software here in a second, but it's all built into the software as well. You can click, are you engraving a flat surface? Are you engraving a, a rotary surface? That's a cool feature. I'll be honest, I haven't used rotaries much. I've maybe used them once before. Um, but to be able to engrave like tumblers and glasses and things like that. All right, the last thing on hardware you might be wondering is speed. We've talked about power with a 20 watt diode laser, but what about speed? Well, so it's listed as 600 millimeters per second, which that's an engraving speed. You're not gonna be able to cut anything at that fast uh, at 100% power. But that 600 millimeters per second seems to be the sweet spot for this this price range and uh, the 20 watt diode laser. So nothing that blows me away there, but nothing um, that's lacking either. It seems adequate. I almost forgot something that's important is Andy, how big is the workspace? How big of a piece can I fit in there? Uh, and so it's listed as 16 and a half by 11.4 uh, inches is the size of the bed. And then even with the Auto Z, obviously there is a limit to it. So five and a half inches thick is the thickest uh, material you can engrave or the thickest item you can engrave. So now let's switch our attention to the software side. I think a lot of people make a mistake of stopping at the hardware side because it's what they can see, I guess. Um, but the software in all the machines that I've ever looked at, ever played with, ever used, software is really where the system either is made or broke. All right, the biggest thing with software for me is that uh, we create, make it is the name of their software, is a local software. It's something you download and you use. You do not need internet to operate it. It's not cloud-based. So I have it hooked up right now via USB, just a USB cord from the laser to my computer. And then uh, it does have the capability. I haven't set it up yet, um, but it does have, it does come with a Wi-Fi uh, antenna. So you're able to connect over Wi-Fi uh, just to communicate with the laser. So that's a that's a cool thing too. Not sure how well it works. Haven't tested it out yet, but to have that ability is a cool feature. So they have their own software, which is a great option. Uh, the interface seems really good. I like it. Um, but they also have it listed on their website that support for light burn is coming soon. So it sounds like that's something that they're working on and they realize that a lot of people use light burn or like to use light burn uh, software. And so it looks like this is gonna be compatible with Lightburn in the near future. So it looks like our engraving is about two thirds of the way done. So let's jump into the software real quick and let me show you that. So real quick, here is the interface of uh, We Create Make It. So you have all your line drawing stuff over here, text to path, image. Uh, they have a big image library. You can log in and have all these different images. So a robust images. And then they actually have AI as well. And then you can upload your own and different things. So got a lot of cool things, array groups, uh, smart fill, a lot of um, advanced, uh, not, uh, not basic tools, you know, advanced tools that you typically don't find. So up here in the right-hand corner, you have laser flat and then laser cylindrical and how you're hooked up. We're hooked on USB. Uh, and then here's the autofocus button. So that just autofocuses to your material, the, the Z up down, um, refresh the bed image. All right, so this takes a picture of the bed so you can see exactly what you're, you're looking at. If you wanted to input a image or something like that, you just literally lay it here on top. So that's cool. And then uh, another really thing, cool thing I found is, so here they have preloaded settings for common materials. So let's pick the three millimeter basswood, for example. If you click on your image, 
And this is how you set your power and speed. So we're doing a bitmap engrave that's based on the file type, which is a, we have a PNG in here. You can change your power, speed, number of passes, scan mode, so line density. Here is the really cool thing though in this preview. So we picked three millimeter basswood and it gives you a test, like a, a speed and power test that they've already done and uploaded the picture. Uh, so something that's even cooler is that if you click, you can highlight these, and if you click on these, it automatically imports the speed and power settings uh, for your project. So let's say we want uh, this color burn right here. That is 200 speed, 60 power. So if you look, 200 speed, 60 power already in there, and uh, we can hit start. As quick as this start tells us the time send it and then we can hit the button and it's ready to go it's really that simple uh, so again we create make it is the software um, that comes with the laser so while I was showing you the software our project finished up so let's check it out Awesome. So we engraved this lion while I was showing you all the different features. Uh, this is on walnut and it looks good. It looks as expected and uh, the laser performed as expected. So full disclosure, we create sent me this machine to feature it on my channel so I could show off the new features. Uh, I don't consider this a full review. I want to test this out more and uh, test out its longevity, test out the different aspects a little bit more. I've made three projects on it now. Take everything that I said in this video um, in that scope and with that perspective. Three projects, but I plan on doing more. So if you remember at the beginning of this video, I said that there was one thing about this laser that is going to uh, turn some heads and really change the diode laser market. And that is the price point. The price point of this machine, as is, everything I showed you today, is $1,500 for a 20-watt diode laser with all of these different features, with software, with everything I covered today, it is absolutely mind-blowing. And uh, they're also running a pre-launch special right now where you can save $500. So you can get this machine for under $1,000 currently. Now, uh, that price isn't going to stay there. Uh, this is an introductory launch rate. So I'll have more information in the description about that, but the price point of this laser is absolutely mind blowing. If you think, look at other comparatives like the open frame, X tool, uh, Creality, uh, you name it, keep going, uh, Atom stack, keep going down the list. It is more expensive than this laser without the enclosure, without um, the auto Z up and down. My mind's blown. Honestly, my mind is blown. I think it's really easy to get lost in the laser engraver market these days just from all the different features and wattages and lasers. So many different things to compare. But when you boil it all down, when you get rid of uh, everything that doesn't matter and you just boil it down, I think what people want is just to be able to create and to create in a way where they don't need to have a lot of technical background and I can honestly say my experience with this machine so far is it accomplishes that.